Hello guys, so for today, we're gonna talk about the ABM strand. So firstly, what is ABM strand? The ABM strand, in its most fundamental sense, refers to the accountancy, business, and management academic programs that concentrate on the foundational concepts in corporate operations, financial management, business management, as well as each and every factor that revolves around those central fields. The ABM Strand program offers a multitude of opportunities under career paths that can propel you into both personal and professional success. Studying under the ABM Strand will cover the fundamentals of accounting, finance, management, and even entrepreneurship. Here, I will show you these possible careers you might be interested at in ABM Strand. There we have Vice President Finance, Chief Financial Officer, International Tax Manager, Finance Director, Cost Accountant Manager, Assistant Controller, Accounting Software Developer, Auditor, Government Accountant, Certified Bookkeeper, Sales Representative, Marketing Manager, Sales Manager, Management Analyst, Human Resources Manager, Public Relations, Purchasing Manager, Budget Analyst, General and Operations Manager, Financial Manager, and Financial Analyst. You see, Besides the direct careers in accounting, management, and finance, there are many other common career paths that you can pursue under the ABM strand. These are business careers in retail and sales, business careers in media, as media industries are always in need of individuals with a strong handle on sales, human resources, public relations, finance, accounting, operations, marketing, and etc. Business careers in marketing and advertising, and business careers in human resources. Company matters such as recruitment, training, and pay are all the foregrounding areas that are handled by the Human Resources Department. People always have their favorites in everything, and career paths wouldn't be missed. According to Bureau of Labor Statistics Employment Data, business and financial occupations are projected to grow faster than the average occupation between 2019 to 2029. Here is the ranked as best careers in business for 2020 by using BLS data regarding salary and projected job growth rates. First is marketing managers, second is financial managers, and third is sales managers. I think they are popular because of their salary which really screams shopping, Gucci, Chanel, Louis Vuitton, add to cart, kidding aside. These three hold a bachelor's degree in related fields with such salaries so no doubt is popular. Let's know more about these three careers. Marketing managers oversee marketing staff and plan marketing campaigns for organizations based on demand. They use market research data to determine pricing, forecast market trends, and identify areas for market growth. Financial managers coordinate efforts to ensure organizations' financial success. They oversee short and long-term financial plans, direct investments, and write forecasting reports related to financial goals. Financial managers may also look for ways to reduce costs and maximize profits. Sales managers prepare budgets, oversee expenses, and establish quotas for sales representatives. As intermediaries between sales staff and organizational executives, sales managers coordinate with clients, distributors, dealers, and other personnel throughout the supply chain. Now, let's compare the three most popular careers, how they are valued in the Philippine setting versus how they are valued in international setting. In the Philippine setting, Marketing managers receive 659,444 pesos per year as their average base salary, while in the United States, marketing managers have $120,956 as their average salary as of January 29, 2021. Converting it to peso, it's 5,877,433 pesos and 47 centavos. For financial managers in the Philippines, they get an average base salary of 475000 per year while in international setting, they receive $129,890 as their median salary and when converted to peso, it becomes 6,311,549 pesos and 94 centavos. Lastly, for the sales managers, their average salary is 729,371 pesos per year in the Philippine setting. In the international setting, their median salary is $126,640 and when converted to peso, it becomes 6,153,627 pesos and 56 centavos. 
observing the salaries in both settings in a national setting the one with the lowest salary among the three in the philippine setting which is the financial managers gets the highest salary nevertheless the three careers are much valued in international setting however with the philippines having only 12,000 per month as the minimum wage the salaries given to those careers are not bad at all Getting the average of the three salaries from the Philippine setting, it's 51,772 pesos and it can already sustain for a family of three or four. In the field of accounting, business, and management, there are professionals who are very successful. Kumar Mangalam Birla, a billionaire and chairman of the Aditya Birla Group. Birla was educated in Mumbai and London not long after qualifying as a chartered accountant from the institute of chartered accountants of india he took charge of the family business steering the multinational to bigger profits and significantly increasing its global profile tony fernandez he was born in kuala lumpur and educated in the united kingdom tony fernandez has made his name in the no frills airline industry before he founded air asia fernandez studied for a degree in accounting at the london school of economics later becoming an associate member of ACCA, Association of the Chartered Certified Accountants. After starting out as an auditor with Virgin Records, he climbed the ladder to become Regional Vice President for Warner Music in Southeast Asia. Since setting up Air Asia, Fernandez has pursued a range of other high-profile ventures, including setting up his own F1 team and starring on the Asian version of The Apprentice. John D. Rockefeller he was the best-known accountant entrepreneur in our list. John D. Rockefeller was an industrial colossus. After starting out as a precocious bookkeeper with a strong head for numbers, he made his fortune in the oil industry. The richest man in U.S. history founded or funded a host of educational institutions including the University of Chicago, Harvard, and Yale. This trend is important to the community as this helps not just the professionals in the fields of accountancy, business, and management, but as well as the students and random people to understand and develop the fundamental skills in managing money, budgeting, and analyzing. It influences and helps the people to practice time management as well as get more opportunities in building and running one's own business as depicted by the small and or micro enterprises such as the famous Sari Sari stores that have been helping Filipino families for decades now. Personally, I consider financial manager and forensic accountant as the two most important careers in ABM Strand. Financial managers are the ones who oversee the financial health of an organization. They produce financial reports, direct investment activities, and develop strategies and plans for the long-term financial goals of their organization. Without them, an organization may be facing problems that would affect the employees with minimum wage. Forensic accountants are the ones who analyze financial reports for irregularities, design fraud protection procedures, investigate financial wrongdoing and white-collar crime, and testify and present evidence in court. It's a career that prevents financial crimes on organizations as well as protects the innocent employees who are just working hard for their families. To all of the incoming senior high school students, choose the career you really love and you're most passionate of doing. You're gonna choose a career to join the bandwagon. Nothing is merrier and more beneficial than doing something you really love choose a career just because it's popular. You might later find yourself constantly quitting, shifting careers, having low performance, or worse, regretting. You would damage your emotional and mental well-being, as well as you would hurt the people who support and love you by letting them witness how unhappy and discouraged you are. Choose the career that you truly love, and you will see yourself growing and becoming better each day. We'd also admire the smiles of the people who support and love you because they're happy that they believe in you. Lastly, you wouldn't have any regrets and wasted years. Life is too short to live in regretful and unhappy years. Choose to be happy. Live happy. Be happy.